Thank you, Tom. Well, in less than an hour, Melbourne city leaders could start a new conversation about bar safety. Yeah, this comes after a man was shot and killed at a packed bar over the weekend, and a woman was also hurt. This happened early Sunday morning at Off the Tracks Bar. New 6's James Barbero is in Brevard County with what's being done to get results. New video Melbourne police say shows Alan Noel dancing at Off the Tracks. Police say this video detectives received doesn't have audio, but it's clear the 34-year-old was having a good time <laughs> before he was shot and killed. You can hear the gunfire in this video police say detectives are looking at. The city says it's also reviewing the bar's security. It's something that we need to discuss. Mayor Paul Alfrey saying he'll likely ask the city council tonight for more police to work downtown. The mayor says he talked Tuesday to the owner of Off the Tracks, and the mayor says the bar is reviewing its security that night as well. Police say as many as 350 people ran for the exits. So to people who might say off the track should be shut down, you might say that's not fair? It, it's not fair yet. I think in all fairness, once the investigation comes out, we all have that conversation in an open meeting. The city council ordered new security conditions on off the tracks in 2016 after an average of more than 168 police incident reports per year. Council member Yvonne Minas says the bar responded well. Off the tracks, they've been doing great. You know, they had conditions and all to work through, uh, and they've, uh, they've done that. <laughs> The mayor says off the tracks will probably stay closed through this weekend's St. Patrick's Day Festival, downtown's busiest event of the year. Tonight's city council meeting starts at 6.30. We'll keep you updated on the discussion at City Hall and the investigation as police continue searching for the killer. In Melbourne, Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news 6.